Hi everyone, this is Intang Mayumi. Merry Christmas to everybody. I have small Michael's haul and some online purchases from Amazon and Simon Says Stamp. So I'm gonna start with Michael's. I bought these things a few weeks ago and uh, I got this Recollections Craft cardstock and this one is 65 pound because I ran out of uh, craft cardstock so I got this one. And then I also got this uh, Jane Davenport fine line bottles. I thought I can use this with my glue so I got this one. I don't have a lot of red ink color so I got this color box cranberry uh, ink and this one is pigment ink. So I got this one. And I also got this uh, red bills and this is by Cratology. So I got that and then this one comes with 32 pieces and then also this gold bells and this one has 70 pieces so I got those and then I also got this 3 4 inches brush by Zen uh, I know Amy R used this brush I have a couple of them here that I use um, I have this number 10 and then the other one is the number 6 so and then this is new one that I got and it's the 3 4 inches brush so I got this and these are good brushes and they're inexpensive also so I got one and then and the last one that I got from Michaels are this Christmas stickers uh, these Santa Claus are really cute and these are good embellishments so I got two of this. I didn't buy a lot of stickers because I still have a lot of stickers from last year and previous year. So I need to use those first be before I buy a lot of stickers again. So I got, I just got two. So I got those. And then I also um, ordered things from Amazon. So I got this thank you die from Elizabeth Craft Designs. It looks like this. So I got this one. And then I've been wanting this stampendous rubber stamp, so I finally got it. And this is the Clean Jolly Santa. So I got this one here. And I also need some of this uh, storage pockets for my new stamps. So I got this from Amazon. Comes like this, and I guess it's 50 in each bag. So this is 100. So I got that and this is the packaging that I receive. It's the check out store brand. So it's this one here. And yeah, it's the one one hundred um koi storage pockets. And it's the five and five eighths inches by seven and three eighths inches. So I got that. And I also need this uh, magnetic sheets. And I also got this from Amazon, so I got this, and it comes with 10 sheets, I think. Yeah, so I got this one for my dies. I got that. And I saw this uh, the other day at the PX. It's a store on post. So I got this one. It's the Prisma Colored Pencil Accessory Set, and it comes with... um. Uh, erasers and uh, a sharpener a marker and two pencils and a pencil extender so when your uh, pencils are getting small you can use this extender so it will help you hold the uh, pencil better so I saw this from Sandy Alnock videos she made a review on this and I uh, thought I try it so I got one of this and I also have haul from Simon Says Stamp so I got this Atelier Dreams I don't know if that's how you pronounce it so I got the Heart Candy and I thought these are big but they're small so I guess this is for planner um, but they're really cute so you can put the sentiments inside the heart and you can use uh, different kinds of inks. So I got this one and also 
I also got this one here. So this one doesn't have name and it's the same brand as this one. And I think this one is also for planner because it's they're both small. So um, this one reminds me of that wooden stamps that I have. It's this one and this one is by Stampin' Up and it's uh, 1992 and somebody gifted this to me uh, when I started crafting way back in the day. I still have this until now. So I got this one and I also got this C6 tree line die and it's the it's it's this one here so that's what it looks like and it cuts out this beautiful trees so I already used this in my uh, card I already have a video of it if you guys want to check that out so I got this one and I also got this uh, Sunny Studio Silver Bell and this is what it looks like and I also got uh, my favorite things Dynamics and this is the Hot Cocoa Cups um, dice I saw a lot of tags in cards um, using this so I got it and I also got the this stamp set. I think this one coordinates with this. And this one is called the Hug in a Mug. So I really like all the sentiments here. And the other one that I have to show you is the Distress Oxide inks that my husband got me for my birthday. It's been a while but I'm always forgetting to uh, show you guys. So he got me uh, Distress Ink Oxides and he got me the first one first release and then the second one so I have uh, 24 distress ink oxide now so this is how I organize them um, I put their names on the sides and I use hearts for the colors to see what color it is and that's how I do it and then I put the foam on the back of the the ink pad uh, use, using tape so that's how I do it and on my distress inks I also put their names and then I use flower so I know which one is distress uh, ink oxides and distress inks but you can tell which one because uh, the distress inks are black and then the oxides are gray so I got broken china twisted citron peeled paint Lucky Clover, Crack Pistachio, uh, Faded Jeans, Wilted Violet, uh, Seedless Reserves, Pink Raspberry, Abundant Coral, Worn Lipstick, Fire Brick, Candied Apple. I also got Vintage Photo, Frayed Burlap, Ice Spruce, Walnut Stain. Black Suit, Peacock Feathers, Salty Ocean, and uh, Fossilized Umber, Spice Marmalade, Wild Honey, and the last one is Antique Linen. So I got all of uh, 24 Distress Ink Oxide for my birthday gift from my husband. So it, that's really nice of him to get me all of the Distress Ink Oxides. And then before I go, I want to share uh, with you what I did to uh, the rest of the old Christmas cards that I repurpose. If you remember my video, I have old Christmas cards and I made a banner out of it, the, uh, all the Santa Claus old Christmas cards. And I still have a lot of that left. And... Uh, I used them all also and then I can reuse them or give it away to family and friends so um, these are all the ones that I um, did to the uh, old Christmas cards that I have I made some tags and Christmas cards I think all of these tags I used the Tim Holtz tag 
dies so I just cut out the which part I want to have it on my tags and that's what I did so the ones that has glitters I didn't put in embellishments on them I just cut out a uh, reinforcement here and put tags so and you're done and then I just stamp this to and from and this is from the stamp and those stamps that I have so that's what I did here and then it's the same with this I just stamp to and from and sentiment at the back so it's all the same and this one here I use this cardinal die that I have and then put spectrum nor glitter on the on the bird so it's the same and it's this one also this one and some of them I I put another piece of cardstock at the back so there's 30 so I made this so I made a lot of this there's that one again And now I can give this to family and friends next year for them to use on their uh, Christmas gifts. So this one here is Peace on Earth. And then this die is from Sizzix and it's the three stockable dies that I have so I, I did this one here and there's more here and then I use my oval uh, stitch uh, dies to cut out this and then there's this one and also this and I, I use the gold spine at, at the back here uh, and then I use um, foam tape to pop this up. So I made this one. So I made a lot of those ones. And then the cards, uh, I use this uh, green glitter paper that I have. And I, this is, uh, I think this is Joey's boutique stickers that I got from last year. So I put it here and then this is from the old card and I didn't put any um, thing inside I'm gonna do that later Th so this is the first card and this is the second card I use the deer dies that I have I use the neat and tangled uh, gift stamp to put on here so it looks like the penguin is hugging a person and I uh, emboss with red embossing powder the Oh Joy from Mama Elephant uh, stamp. And then there's nothing on the inside. Like this one too. And I put the Merry Christmas here, the dice that I have. So, and it's the same with this one. And this is the uh, Mama Elephant scallop die that I have. And also this one, I put. Um, sentiment here and I I found this cardstock that it's the same color the snowman scarf so that's what I use and this one I use vellum to stamp my sentiment and I emboss it with clear embossing powder this one is uh, hero art sentiments I emboss it with white embossing powder this one is one of the old Christmas cards sentiment so I cut I cut it and put it here and I distress the edges with distress ink and it's also this one this this one this one it's the same with the other with this one here this one This one, this one here, 
Some of them I put white cardstock die cut in the inside. And also this one. This one here. And I use my um, Gina Mary Designs stitch rectangle dies to cut out the old cards. So, and th this one here is a wreath, and I added the Merry Christmas in the middle, and then I emboss it with um, red embossing powder. And this one here is uh, packaging from a chocolate that uh, my my kids got last year. So I didn't throw this and I thought I can reuse it so what I did is I, I put it on a card and it's really cute here I have the Tim Holtz embossing folder so I embossed the cardstock and then I popped this up using foam tape and I also distress it with distress inks and this one also I did the same I think that's all of the ones that I made from the old Christmas uh, cards that I have I'm gonna give this to my family and friends next year and I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and enjoy time with your family I hope you like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye